Where did winter go? Well, let me tell you guys, YouTube burnout is a real thing, and I have a brilliant way of combating that horrible, horrible thing. Well, you know how when you do a thing for so long that you get super sick of it, and then all of a sudden, you just don't want to do it anymore, and then you end up not doing it for a very, very long time? Yeah, it's burnout. It's, you just get tired of it. Well, a very easy way to combat that, which I have just uh, used, and it was fantastic, is to take a break. Take a break before you burn out. <laughs> While you're still feeling good, just take a break. And that way, when you're taking that break, instead of being burnt out and feeling bad for yourself and not wanting to do anything, and the whole break is miserable too, instead, you're still feeling good, and you take a break, and that break also feels good, and it's fantastic, and I have just been hanging out here on my awesome ship, but we better get uh, the ship moving and go back to the afterlife realm, because we have been gone for a very long time enjoying this awesome, awesome vacation. Oh boy, I cannot even begin to tell you how good it feels to be back here in the afterlife realm. It's actually really far ways away where we were sailed to, but I am so thrilled to be back. In fact, let's uh, let's head back on over to our pirate island over there and uh, let's see see what we what we have. Uh, w with with uh, October rolling around, the greatest month in existence is uh, is quickly approaching and you guys know what that means that means halloween is just around the corner and i am so excited to do some halloween stuff uh working on uh, a little uh halloween costume to wear for all of october i'm super excited you guys know how much i love october in fact i love october so much i love halloween that i think i think it's just about time that this server had itself a halloween town because it has a christmas town but it doesn't have a Halloween town, and it needs a Halloween town, so let's, let's focus on that, because I know it's a little soon. Some of you guys can be like, Witcher, slow down, it's not even October yet. We gotta be ready for it, because it's the best month ever. And yes, I did change up my uh, my suit a little bit. I took off that, that jacket and the pants. I've been wearing them for so long, they starting to get a little stinky. I sent them off to the to the cleaners, but I don't think I'm going to put them back on. I, I think I just like the hat and the belts. I think those are the best parts, really, aren't they? Yeah, so there we go. Now you don't have to worry about asking me about the skin. All right, now that we're all geared up, there is only one way currently to this Halloween district, and it is via Chorus Fruit. It's the only way right now. We're going to fix that today. We are going to fix that. We're going to create a second way so everyone else can get there, but I want to show you guys where it is. So here we go. Oh, oh, okay, okay we're here. We, we made it. Uh, so it's, 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 it's a dark oak forest. Obviously, of course it was going to be a dark oak forest. Found this lovely place. It's a pretty lengthy ways out, and uh, it, it's probably the largest dark oak forest I've seen on the server. So, you know, there's that. We have uh, quite a lot of space to build in, and I've even set up a temporary portal somewhere around here in, I think in the middle somewhere. I have no idea where it is. Uh, where I would like, ideally, for people to come out at, you know, right in the center of town. I think I'm going to put a giant pumpkin around it. That sounds like a cool idea. Maybe we could do that today. Uh, but yeah, we got this huge space, and there's even a... Oh, there's the portal. I see it. Uh, there's a, even a section here that's not dark oak, so maybe something can go there. Like, maybe we want to be something to be a slightly more illuminated than the rest of the place. We have that one bright patch kind of in the middle, which would be pretty cool. Um, so yeah, we have all this, but we need to make a proper way through, and I've gone ahead and I've done some preliminary work. Where the heck is that pesky portal? There you are, you little punk. So I've done a little pre preliminary work, and if we go through the portal here, you'll see we'll be greeted by this tent pig. This must be Jay's. I have no idea what- anyway, I, we, we have this tunnel connected to the nether hub now. Um, but clearly this is- this is not a good tunnel, and it's a long tunnel. So, what do you say? We get some materials together and we start working on this thing, maybe third person time lapse, maybe we get the camera bear going, let's see! Nope, 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 nope. I just spent the last like two hours editing with the replay mod, trying to get something to work 
for digging out this tunnel and oh boy it kept wanting to do this stupid thing where for some reason if I had like the camera starting here and I did the next marker way down there for some reason instead of just doing a straight line it wanted to move backwards first through the wall so you could see all of the stuff and then when it zoomed through it kept going lower and lower and then finally zigzag back it's horrible it's actually really really bad so I'm just you know we're just not gonna do that cuz uh, this is the it's too tight quarters and then on top of that every time I tried to actually get something where I'm just like okay well, let's do this one little section it ended up being like well, I was digging in a straight line, so I had to like zigzag back it up, and it was super disorienting. So instead, I'm just gonna build this, <laughs> and then we'll take a look at it. So basically, we're just gonna do this same pattern, repeating all the way down. And trust me, it's it goes a long ways down. See, we're on uh, X is 25, and we need to go to X is 612. So six, roughly 600 blocks of decorating so I'm gonna decorate them to this point I still don't know what I want in the back little section so we're just gonna decorate them like this for now we can get the uh, paved part in at the bottom with the with the ice and get that all squared away and basically get it to a point where only this back little section for each thing needs to be filled in I just need to figure it out I just don't know what it's gonna be yet yeah it's, it's, it's pretty good it's uh it's still not complete I need to go to the shopping district and buy a few materials and I also just need to swing by an acacia forest and get some more acacia because I have run out uh, and it's annoying. I, I've actually gone through like a double chest of acacia logs and I'm I'm out already. <laughs> so yeah, I got to get a few more of those. We're going to go shopping. Got to finish the pathway. The, uh, the carpet isn't complete all the way at the end, but uh, for the most part, we still got to get the slabs in and once the slabs are in right here as well the boat won't be able to actually go off the track so that's important that we eventually get those slabs in so yeah i guess we're going to the shopping district now So after that little shopping montage and about three days of work, I think, I think we have another tunnel that I could be proud of. I actually really like this. It turned out really nice. Uh, I did a few trips on the boat and realized that you really can't see inside those anyway. So I thought it'd be nice to just do like this, you know, like it's the outer circle is black. The inner circle is orange. Then the smaller circle is black. And then the dot in the middle is orange. So we got this, you know, effect of you know, going back and forth between the two colors. And then I did this thing with the stairs where the stairs are together like this on this side and on either side, they're what I would call the open position. So open, closed, open, closed, and they do it all the way down on that side. But also the opposite side of it is open. So if it's closed on one side, it'll be open on the other. And if you do tend to see it out of the corner of your eye, it's a little trippy, but it is kind of hard to see. Uh, we have the chains going down, I got some carved pumpkins hanging, we got some uh, uh, jack-o'-lanterns hanging as well. I bought out all of the shrooms because I wasn't sure how much I would need these shroom lights, shroom lamps, shroom, sh shroom thingies. Um, but we had enough, thankfully, and this will be the maiden voyage. I actually have not ridden this yet uh, with it complete. 
I did a test run. The chain while you're in the boat, you can't hit the chain, so uh, there shouldn't be any obstacles for this. We'll see though. Yeah, uh, see, we're going right through the chains, no problem. Oh, the pumpkins. The pumpkins are so nice. Do you see the sides? Oh, it's cool. I like it. I like it a lot. I think this turned out really nice. And I'm pretty sure everyone's going to know exactly what the heck this tunnel is. And for reference for the Afterlife members, it's down Z's tunnel. I did speak with Z uh, and he said it was okay. So it's about 270-ish blocks down that way. It's not too far and it's on the right. You know, so for everyone on the server to know where we are. Yeah. Okay, let's shift gears for a moment. If Halloween's around the corner and people are going to want to do Halloween stuff, pumpkin patches maybe, maybe we're going to build things out of like giant pumpkins, uh, I don't know. Pumpkins seem like they might be really important. I set up this temporary pumpkin farm here just so I could get enough pumpkins for the tunnel and all in all I had to wait like an hour for this thing to give me 100 pumpkins which I needed for that tunnel and an hour for like a hundred pumpkins isn't that great. So I'm thinking we're going to scale this thing up. I'm going to make this a, a full haste beacon. And right now it's, you know, it's just a minor one for uh, this farm, but uh, let's make this a full haste beacon. Maybe we'll, maybe we can finally actually get that, uh, the, the time lapse or not time lapse. Well, technically a time lapse. I just don't want to make it too big of a time. You know, it doesn't need to be super fancy, but we're going to dig a big hole here and replicate this layer uh, as many times as we can. Yeah, seems fun. So forget the cost of the materials themselves. A great way to figure out exactly how much stuff you need is to, of course, dig out the entirety of the space. And then here I've used just dirt to uh, space out each of these things so if we look at this they are a concrete block by the pistons observers there's the row with all the actual pumpkins the dirt layer and then the hopper layer so this whole thing is only five blocks but because there's redstone involved up there and these blocks being powered by the observers we don't want the hoppers to be directly on top of the concrete blocks for fear of them locking up so we need another space. So with all that in mind, you can see we um, these two layers right there, the top, the grass block would be our concrete, and then we have our observer slash pistons. We have the air layer, which is where the pumpkins and seeds go. The second grass block there is the block that the seeds grow on and the pumpkins grow on, so that layer. And then we have the hopper layer. And then of course we have a block of space there, so that concrete block down there, <laughs> does not power anything up here. So with that all spaced out, we can actually literally count how many layers there are in this. And there's there's six layers. So we have six layers to add, seven in total, because we already have one built. Uh, and essentially what we can do now is I know for a fact that um, we are doing a four wide by 17 long um, setup. I just I knew four was what I wanted, and then it just ended on 17, just random numbers. So basically now all I had to do was count. You know, we have two concrete per row of four. We know that there's 17 rows, so there's 34 concrete. And then we take that 34 times six, because that's how many more we're going to need, and we end up two with 204. And we can do that same math for everything else. And in fact, we know that for every piston, there's a concrete block. And because they're checkerboard pattern, it's the exact same count for the redstone dust and also the exact same count for the observers. So we end up with needing 204 concrete, 204 dust, 204 observers, 204 pistons. Uh, incidentally, because checkerboard pattern, we also need 204 seeds. Um, and because it's checker pattern, that's 50-50, we just times it by two. So we need 408 grass slash dirt and 408 hoppers plus the row of hoppers we're going to use uh, down the middle so they can all go to a single storage which I've counted to be an additional 33 so 441 blocks and very easy just to do some super straightforward math and now I know exactly exact count numbers how many materials of each I need to finish this farm so I just gotta go collect it all so I'm just collecting the last of the parts so we can finish the melon farm um, and I decided to fly up over my ship 
to go check some stuff out and I saw this. A secret lair that you aren't invited to. I don't know if this is for me or not and I'm just gonna leave it here because again I don't know if this is for me or not because I nobody's ever talked to me about a lair so I don't it might be for someone else if that's for me maybe you know just maybe you should let me know because there's no other indication that I can seem to find that says that that's actually for me all right so this farm should be complete and hopefully on your screen right now you'll be seeing the uh, third person camera going through the walls so you can see all the different layers are all complete you'll also notice that not all of the pumpkins are fully grown just yet so uh, i'm gonna do an afk session uh, until the server goes offline so it should be about eight hours of afking and if we pop back into my vision right here yep uh, we can pop all the way down here and take a look this is all the pumpkins we've gotten during the time of building the farm. So I'm just going to hang out down here. Uh, we're going to AFK and we'll see what we get tomorrow after eight hours of AFK. So I ended up playing a little bit of modded Minecraft with my friends last night. So we only AFK'd for about four and a half hours. So let's see what we have after four and a half hours. All right, we have one whole double chest and and this much. Which also means we have a full hopper back there, because that's how hoppers work. So yeah, not too bad. I honestly, I'm, I can't think of what we're gonna use these pumpkins for beyond a few things I have in mind. So this is probably more than enough pumpkins. I'm very interested to see what the other members of the server will want to use pumpkins for as well. Of course, they don't know I'm doing this. So you know, guys, guys, get the ideas going. We got pumpkins for days. And I'll kick off the ideas here in Halloween Town. We, of course, need to get the portal all set up correctly. This is gross, right? Gross. So, what do you say we get the uh, the, the third-person camera out and we do a, a, a little time lapse? We got to clean up this area, cut down some trees, uh, a tiny bit of terraforming to smooth out this terrain. Look how bad this is. And uh, we're gonna use the pumpkins. We'll be the first to do it. So, let's go. <laughs> oh, I like that time lapse. That was pretty good. Uh, so Halloween Town, yeah, we, we have Halloween Town. I set up a little fence, uh, temporary fence around this thing with some carpets for players to jump over. Uh, this is to essentially just make sure that uh, creepers aren't going to sneak up on players and blow up the portal uh, because that would not be fun to fix. And also. Um, this is a dark forest and mobs tend to spawn pretty frequently here regardless, so we're just, you know, taking some extra precautions. It, again, it's temporary. Once we have more of the place, uh, built around it, we could, we'll hopefully be able to, you know, go ahead and do some, you know, spawn proofing and all that. Oh, but it looks so good. You know, I, I was really struggling with getting the face in the pumpkin, but putting the fire in is what really like fixed it for me. I'm like, ooh, that looks really good. And then I lit the portal and I'm like, ooh, the, the mouth is all purple. Oh, it's, it's actually really cool. It's, I'm, I'm super excited about this and I cannot wait to see what everyone does here in Halloween Town. The only downside, of course, is that you have to chop down a stupid amount of trees and terraform before you can do anything. So I'm thinking, um, I'll, I'll I'll discuss it with the other members and see what they're what they're thinking. But um, I'm thinking that I just I you know we spend some time and we just clear cut a nice large section out of here and do some terraforming to on a massive scale, 
and then we'll leave like some some of the trees uh, on the edges so we're still bordered by a forest on all sides but hopefully that'll make it so players can easily come in here and you know get some get some projects worked out because it's oh, it's gonna be so much fun I'm, I'm so excited about it uh, leave down in the comments below guys any suggestions you think would be cool to have here in Halloween Town haunted mansions uh, a hay maze uh, what, what anything anything you can think of that would be super cool and fun to see here in Halloween Town but that is gonna be it for today's episode guys thank you so much for watching thank you for coming back after the long break I took I really appreciate you guys uh, sticking through to the end and if you did if you did make it to the end and you're hearing this you know just mention in your comments maybe that uh well tell me who your favorite superhero is that way i'll know i'll know that you made it to the end and trust me if you do end up doing that it's you're gonna be like one of like maybe two people who do it because almost nobody watches to the end so thank you guys again so much for watching leave a like if you like subscribe if you haven't share with your friends hit the notification bell and i will see you guys in the next one